Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial on generics and collections. So we'll see uh, a simple example of generics and then we'll move on to uh, example collection. Let's pick up probably error list and let's see what would happen when we try and add an element. So the most important, uh, like, let's first see why generics are needed. Let's just say I have a collection array list. So I want to multiply all numbers in an array list by two. So what I have is I have an array list of numbers. I have a result in which I want to put all the elements in the numbers array list multiplied by two. So I'm looping around the array list probably now I can use the uh, better iterator I think. Now we can use the uh, value but I also want to have an index that's why I'm using the normal iterator. So I have uh, if you look at it here so I'm doing a numbers which is array list dot get of i and then I'm type casting it to integer. This is not really good. Also when I look at this array list numbers I don't know what type does it contain? Does it contain integers? Does it contain long? Does it contain... So the programmer is not really clearly specifying what kind of things that this particular thing is. This is where the generics come into picture. So if you look at here, so if you look at this array list, this array list is named something. I mean, what does this something contain? Does it contain string? Does it contain what? Uh, also, if you define in this way, you can also add something dot add, let's say new long of five. So you can add string, you can add long, you can add anything to this something array. So this is where the generics come into picture. So if you look at this particular example here, I'm saying this numbers is an array list of integer. So if you look at it here, I'm saying array list integer numbers is equal to new array list of integer. So that's the most important thing about generics. You can specify the type of what the numbers is. So if I'm adding, I can do numbers dot add five, numbers dot add six. But if I do numbers dot add, let's say, 15.0. Does it allow? No, it doesn't. So it gives a compilation error. It says the, if you look at it, it says the method add integer in type array list of integer is not applicable for double. So the same thing if I didn't have this, let's say I didn't have array list of integer here. It would allow me to add. So that's so what generics brings in, so this is what is called generics and what generics build, brings in is more type safety. So you cannot add things to the list not belonging to that type to the list. So you, so when you are, and also there is no need to typecast and do things like that. So that's one of the most important thing about generics and collections. We'll also look at a few other examples of generics. Uh, we'll see what is extends and what is super. So when we are declaring a list, we saw things like this. List of animal, animals list is equal to, uh, like a, you can store any animal in here. Or you can say list of dog and I can store the dog. So here uh, we have a class animal and also a class dog which extends animal. So we have to create two classes. One is animal and the other one is dog. Dog class extends animal. So uh, we want to discuss about the extents and the uh, oops. we want to discuss about the extents and the super uh, keywords when we are creating uh, generic uh, collections. So when we say list question mark extends animal, then this would allow you to give any class which extends 
the animal class. So we have a hierarchy of things in here. We have a list of object. Uh, object is a superclass of all objects. So uh, object is a superclass of animal and uh, animal is a superclass of dog. So talking the other way, dog is subclass of animal, animal is subclass of object. So uh, here I'm creating a question mark extends animal. To this thing, I can give any list which is of type, which is with generic of type, which is a subclass of animal. So uh, we can give animals list or we can give dogs list. So list of dog, dog is extending animal. So that's fine. So dogs list can be fine. Animal also extends animal. So in that sense, animals list also doesn't give you a compilation error. It works. But if you give a object list, I just changed it to object list. So if you give a object list here, let's see what happens. It complains because object list is not the right value here. So if I say list of question mark extends animal, I can only give list with types animal or a subclass of animal. A superclass of animal cannot be used. So that's the extends keyword. The next keyword which we would look at is super keyword. Super keyword is the opposite of extend. So I can give a super class of animal. Object is a super class of animal. So I can give a list of the super class. So I can give the list of object. So object list is right. But if I give animals list, what happens? Compilation error. So oops, animals list is fine. So if you see, I can give this class and a super class of animal. So I can give animals list and object list. But if I give oops, dogs list, error, compilation error. So that's uh, the extends and the super keyword. So it's uh, when I say a question mark super animal, then I can give that particular class or a super class. And also when I say question mark extends animal, then I can give that particular class or a subclass. So that's basically generics. We looked at a couple of examples of generics and collections. Uh, until next time, bye. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.